guys and welcome back to Car Focus. Now today, as you can probably see in the background, it's quite an exciting video. I've just picked up the latest Ford Fiesta ST from TC Harrison Ford in Peterborough. This is their demo car and they've kindly let me use it for the day just to kind of get my thoughts on how the car performs and also compare it to the previous generation Fiesta ST, which you all know I used to own for about three years. Now I'm very excited about this because I owned that car as I say for three years, I absolutely loved it and there wasn't really too much that could be done to make it any better in my opinion, other than maybe slight tuning like the mount tune package for example, and also the exhaust which didn't really sound that good. But this car on the right hand side, I think they've made those improvements. So this new latest Mark 8 version is a 1.5 litre three cylinder turbo producing 200 brake horsepower Whereas the one on the left here is 180 brake horsepower and 200 on overboost, and it's a 1.6 four cylinder. So a bigger engine, an older engine, and this one is slightly quicker as well. So as I mentioned, one of my, one of my main gripes about the Mark 7 was the exhaust. Now the exhaust on the new one sounds fantastic. So what I think we'll do is we'll get both cars side by side, have a little rev off, and you can decide which one sounds better. <laughs> Right, so from those exhaust, uh, exhaust clips there, I think you'd probably agree that the new Fiesta ST sounds absolutely brilliant in comparison to the poor old Fiesta ST. Um, I love the pops and the crackles. It just sounds, it sounds much better in person as well, but I think they've done a great job with the exhaust. Anyway, moving on to the styling changes of the new one. As you can see, they're quite different from the front. Now the car is the same shape essentially, but the styling at the front is quite different. Now I personally think the Mark 7 looks more aggressive. Um, just the angles here with the headlights and just the way it's sort of styled in the front bumper, it just looks kind of angry. Whereas this one just looks a bit more subtle, but it also looks a bit more modern. Now the main changes here, the headlights up front, we have the optional LED headlamps, which are really good. Quite an expensive, expensive option though, I think it's about 600 pounds. You've got a slightly different shaped grille and different fog lights there, which is the main changes at the front of the cars. Moving on to the side of the car, the new Fiesta ST has got these optional 18 inch alloy wheels with a diamond cut finish. They've also got Michelin Pilot Supersport tires, which I can vouch for being a really good tire because I've got them fitted to my RS and I absolutely love them. Previous generation Fiesta ST has got 17 inch alloy wheels in a kind of anthracite color. They were the only option on that car and they came with Bridgestone Potenza tyres. Now features on the side of the car, they're very similar. They've both got the swage lines here which go to the, the rear quarter panel and also the lines here along the bottom of the door. The roof, the new car has two lines, the old car doesn't. And on the bonnet of the old car, there's two lines coming up which this car doesn't have. Now both of these cars are in blue. This one is Ford Performance Blue and you have Spirit Blue on the older car. Which blue looks better? It's subjective. I personally like them both. I do love the deep sort of color of the spirit blue, but I do think this one looks really good in the sunshine as well. Right, so moving on to the rear of both of these cars. Now the rear of the new Fiesta ST has been a big talking point. There's been a lot of sort of negative press around it. Just saying it's ugly in comparison to the old one. It looks like a B-Max. Me personally, I actually quite like it. I do like change and I think this has been change for the better. Now the main change is at the back of the car, starting at the top, you've got the spoiler. This doesn't have the, the holes that the Mark 7 spoiler has, it just has a sort of a lip. It's not quite as big, but it does look nice. It does suit the car. You've got these completely different tail lights, which are sort of blended into the tailgate here. I like them. And also the rear arches are flared out slightly more. So the, the back of the car has almost been squished slightly, which just gives it a bit more of an aggressive stance to the rear. The Mark 7, I always thought it was a bit too tall and skinny. Um, it didn't have, you know, the road presence wasn't great with the rear of this car. 
Moving on down to the bumper, you've got a different style bumper, different style reflectors, and a new redesigned rear diffuser with twin tailpipes, which is the same as the previous generation Fiesta ST. But no, overall, I think they've done a great job with the rear of this car. I really like it, and I think it's gonna grow on a lot of people. So now moving on to the inside of this vehicle, a lot has changed in here. We've got a whole new dashboard layout. We've got a new infotainment system on this screen here. Unfortunately, the screen doesn't retract, it's stuck there. Could be an issue for some people. Personally, it doesn't really bother me. But yeah, completely redesigned layout in here. The instrument clusters are digital, it seems, or they're backlit, so when you turn the car on, you then see them. We've got a new steering wheel here with a flat bottom. I think the steering wheel is possibly a little bit too big um, for my liking, it could be a little bit smaller. All your buttons on the steering wheel are quite clear. You've got your menu buttons, your cruise control buttons, volume. And then around the edges here, you've got little details, little faux carbon strips, which are quite nice. And we've also got the B&O um, sound system, which sounds really good. Now, there's one thing that I was hoping Ford were gonna change, and that was the quality of the interior plastics. Unfortunately, some of them are still a little bit tacky. The center console is a bit sort of loose. Your door cards here are very sort of hard and feel a bit cheap and you can wobble them around a bit. But other than that, the interior, they've done quite a good job. I think the redesign looks really nice. These seats, we've got Recaro seats, similar to that of the old Fiesta. However, these ones have been redesigned and I find that they really hug you around the shoulders, which is something that was missing. And I find that in my RS as well. They hug you nice in the middle, but you do miss the support from the shoulders, but these have kind of addressed that issue. Comparison with the old interior of the ST, I think the Mark 7 is getting a bit sort of long in the tooth now. It's been around for quite a while, since around 2009. So it did need changing. Um, one of the main sort of gripes I had with the older one was the size of the screen. It was a tiny little sort of four inch screen. This is much clearer with your Sync 3 system. So yeah, overall, it's been a big improvement. Anyway, so I think I've showed you around the car enough. I think it's time for the, uh, the most exciting part of the video, for me anyway, where I actually get to drive it. So let's go. So guys, here we are behind the wheel of the Mark 8 Fiesta ST, the little 1.5 EcoBoost three cylinder. I've been very excited about driving this car and just seeing if it can live up to its, uh, its older brother, the Mark 7. Now, immediately on driving this car, it's got the right sort of feeling. It feels nice and firm and not too crashy. It's a nice place to sit. The seat is comfortable. It holds you in nicely. I've got a nice view out of the windscreen. My seating position is good. There's nothing major that's jumping out at me and telling me this car isn't going to be fun. The gearbox, the six-speed manual gearbox, just cruising around at the moment. It's feeling lovely and sort of notchy and like a good quality gearbox, it's not sloppy. The steering wheel, yep, it's a little bit too big in my opinion, but the leather is nice and soft. You've got a nice grip on it and it's comfortable. So this car, this is the ST2, it's fitted with the optional performance pack. So we get the limited slip differential up front, which will obviously adjust power to each side to help you pull out of a corner and power through a corner, which I think when you've got quite a higher powered front wheel drive car, it's definitely something worth considering. With that performance pack, you also get launch control. So if you come to a stand in this car and you're in race mode, which is the mode we're in at the moment, come to a stand, launch control will pop up on the screen automatically. All you have to do is have to select OK and then off you go. You stop, launch control pops up, it's ready to go. First gear, foot on the clutch, pin the throttle. Come off the clutch. And there we go. And we're up to the national speed limit, reasonably quickly. Well, that was good fun. The car bogged down a little bit in uh, first gear. 
then when we got into second she started to go so yes yeah, uh, nice little feature the launch control there if you find yourself at Santa Pod and you uh, want to try and get the best possible launch there you go so the fundamentals are all there everything is feeling good now driving along at these speeds the car is essentially a normal Fiesta you've got your creature comforts your, your, your sync 3 your B&O sound system which sounds really good by the way it's nicely balanced it doesn't sound sort of tinny there's enough bass it sounds better than the sound system in my RS and you also get a subwoofer in the boot as well with that you've got lane assist technology sign recognition so it'll, it'll recognize road signs coming towards you and display them up on the screen here all of the creature comforts really that you need now this is ST2 so base model starts at just under 19 I believe and your top spec ST3 will set you back almost 25,000 so this car sits in the middle so I think it's time to actually put this car to the test where it's at home on a lovely B road Now, first impressions when actually pushing on with this car, it's a strong engine. For the little three-cylinder, it's very strong, very torquey, very punchy. And the power just keeps on going all the way through to sort of six and a half thousand revs. <laughs> it is fun. It is very fun. Let's see what this limit slip diff's like. Oh, that is impressive. For a front wheel drive car, you can literally pin the throttle mid corner and you can feel that inside wheel pulling you round. There's no understeer. This chassis just feels so nice. Nice and rigid. The car just feels really eager. This little twisty section coming up here this car is really going to excel on twisty little little roads oh yes god went turn to turn so if you go left to right the timing the, the, the quickness of the rack is awesome you can change directions like that Guys, this is a fun car. This is a very fun car. I said this when I drove the ST line, but I could feel the potential within that car. And now I'm finally in this, with all the bells and whistles, you know, we've got the sort of horsepower, we've got all the, the drive modes, the handling, the, you know, the LSD, everything has come together and it's created an awesome little super mini, an awesome little small hatch. Now, if I were for any reason having to sell my Focus RS and I was after something a little bit cheaper, this would definitely be a car that I would consider. So is this car good enough for you to go from the Mark 7 Fiesta ST to this? Is it an improvement? Have they done their intended job? Well, I think they have. I'm going to say yes. Everything about it is just that bit better. The engine is going to be more economical because it's smaller. It's faster. It's more modern. It's got a louder exhaust. a bit better we've got a limited slip diff as an option we've got bigger wheels as an option the brakes are really good as well I mean they were good in the old car but these brakes are on point we've got more gadgets in this car I think everything about the car is better I, I mean don't get me wrong the mark 7 is fantastic it still looks good today it's extremely fun and if you can't stretch obviously to this kind of price point the mark 7 is a great alternative but as an overall package, this car is better. And that's coming from somebody that loved the Mark 7. I'm one to kind of go with change and accept change. Yeah, I was a bit apprehensive at first. I thought the back looked a bit weird, you know. 
I was a bit apprehensive when I heard about the, um, the loss of a cylinder. But nothing about this car is worse. The more I look at it, the more I like it, the more I drive it, the more I like it. So much so that if I had the money, I'd go to Ford today and I would buy one and I would drive this happily alongside my RS. But unfortunately, I can't afford to do that. So guys, I think I'm gonna end the video there. That is the all new Ford Fiesta ST. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've answered some of your questions. Um, there is more things we could talk about, but you know, I've got to cut this video somewhere. But, you know, as I said again, overall, I'm very impressed with this car. Um, once again, thanks to TC Harrison Ford for allowing me to have this for the day. This is their demo car, and go and test drive it if you live locally and you're, consider and you're considering buying one, because I don't think you will be disappointed. So guys, as always, thank you for watching. It's greatly appreciated. Um, you know, the more kind of subscribers and likes I get, the more it kind of, you know, spurs me on to do more videos like this. So if you could give us a thumbs up, put some comments in the comments box below, ask me questions and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, yeah, so until the next time, hopefully we'll be, we'll be reviewing uh, more cars similar to this. But yeah, until next time, take care and I'll see you soon.